CM Punk and AEW, more stories have emerged. You may have been following this closer than I at this point. Apparently, Brian Alvarez of F4W Online and the Wrestling Observer reported that there was a second incident backstage at All In in London. Yeah, and that's how people started picking up on it. Second incident at All In London. And the story that was reported, and I'm somewhat paraphrasing, I don't have it in front of me, was that after the Jack Perry incident, Miro confronted CM Punk, and they almost got into it. Well, here there, there was some verbiage exchanged. We understand that it was like Miro came in and, and Punk was like, do we have a problem? And Miro was I don't know. I do will we? come all over you. Yeah, well, no, he didn't. He only wanted to come all over me now. Come on, be serious. <laughs> and I don't know. Do we have a problem? Well, do we need to go outside? Punk said, do we need to go outside? Well, maybe we do. I don't know. Let's just go out here. And, and they stormed off. That's what, and Brian Alvarez also, he said that he talked to five different, and this is the greatest thing, that Brian Alvarez, who, bless him, because it, it sort of like the Vanity Press project that I talked about that used to exist in printing a long time ago, Brian Alvarez made himself a professional wrestler when it became a thing that you could do by just going and getting himself booked on independent events and with his size i would imagine that it was probably in exchange for favorable reporting on their uh yellow journalism site because for fuck's sake i i don't know another reason why brian alvarez who lives in washington would be wrestling in suburban uh northern indiana on a local event what does oh really? yeah, I didn't know about this. Yes, I I, I actually he saw the in when, Indiana. What? When I went to Chicago a few years is before the pandemic, so four or five years ago, for something, I saw a flyer, some kind of black flag pro wrestling in Crown Point, Indiana, and Brian Alvarez's name was on it. I'm like, how oh. the fuck does that happen? Except that potentially they say, well, they'll talk about us. But nevertheless. Black flag pro wrestling. I understand Greg Ginn took all the money. You know, I know they were a punk band. <laughs> <laughs> you went too deep on it for me or I'd have popped for all you. All right, all right. But anyway, the point I was making is Brian Alvarez, who manufactured him a little wrestling career and, you know, buddied up with Dave on the newsletter business said he talked to five different people who were there. And not only there, but he... I know there was a bunch of people in Wembley Stadium, but I don't think he needed to talk to the hot dog vendor about what happened in the locker room. So he's saying that he talked to five different people in the locker room. And three of them were, were Matt Hardy. Well, there you go. <laughs> Broken Matt, Woken Matt, and fucking Spoken Matt. But he talked to five different people that would have knowledge of this situation, and they all said it was serious. And that uh, indicates not only that Brian Alvarez, that there's a bunch of blabbermouth, whiny little fucking tattletale motherfuckers in that locker room that would immediately be able to report to Brian Alvarez, but secondly that they believed it or that they wanted other people to believe it, whichever it may be, because we now find out that Punk and Miro were fucking around and joking. Yeah, you got a problem with me? Oh, we need to take it outside? Let's take and it as, to the ring! Yeah, let's take it. And, as, and they either bought it or want other people to buy it. Like, oh, this guy's having a problem with everybody. They were apparently laughing about the problem that did exist from the little whinel, whiny jungle jack. Yes, Miro has a problem with God, not punk. I thought they were the same thing. Oh, come on. See, now your, your fandom of punk has gone too far. Well, no, I saw the sign, CM Punk is God. They're all over Chicago, along with those people with those tiki torches, waiting for the opportunity to set the seats on fire if they bought tickets for three shows in one week in the same fucking town and they don't get to see their favorite in any of them 
From what I understand, AEW has banned tiki torches from the arena. Well, then they'll have a fucking acetylene torch, a blow torch, a pro wrestling torch. What are they? <laughs> a few of those pro wrestling torches have been set on fire. <laughs> and they're going to fucking be pissed. But yeah, the Miro and Punk thing. And, and then uh, that's why I, I saw people shooting at Alvarez, shooting down his explanation that, well, five people said that it was a two would dipshit it doesn't matter because it still wasn't apparently it was a whole big fucking hoo-ha over nothing what in the past did those five sources tell you about things backstage whether it was the brawl yeah. out last year or brawl in yeah it was brawl out last year i'm so confused with all these pay-per-views what else have these sources told you that were reported in some cases as people see it as anti-punk stories but what else do these sources who were wrong about this tell you in the past? <laughs> about what and, they perceived uh, in the back, just standing yes, there and watching things. What they perceived and assumed was taking place or wanted people to perceive or assume was taking place. Because well, we know a lot of these kids in the locker room ain't exactly smart to the business if a couple of guys are yelling at each other and it sounds ominous apparently they're about to commit mayhem that's what they think or other ones are, hey well, boy we could see you know nobody likes this guy that's the story we'll tell and here's fucking you know lap dog and cauliflower head over there willingly because they get attention and petting and ranch dressing i guess i don't fucking know uh they get all the attention from these guys so they parrot it because why would they lie to me we're friends friends cm punk was at the cauliflower alley club the last couple of days in las vegas getting an award and the wrestling news is lou kippelman was there and he approached him to ask him about this we may have made a mistake though the question was hey punk do you got a problem and then Punk put Lou in a front face lock and it was over. Well, no, come on. Now, that did not happen at all because I've seen the size of Kippelman's neck and there's no way that Punk could reach all the way around that. So. <laughs> I sent Lou. I said, if you run into Punk, here are some questions for you. Hey, Punk, does Colin Thompson owe you money? <laughs> uh, now that you've attended CAC, when do you expect to test positive for COVID? <laughs> <laughs> uh did i have any other ones here uh hey punk do you want to step outside well and and meanwhile punk was getting an award for his outstanding contributions to professional wrestling in and outside the ring and the furtherance of same while these dipshits are over there rolling around in barbed wire and broken glass what do the issues with jungle boy say about the state of the rainforest <laughs> Lou was going to ask these questions, but in approaching Punk, uh, Ace Steel bit him. So Lou is now out of commission. He's Son a, of a bitch. He's getting a I tetanus thought, shot. Now, I thought they had, had required Ace to wear a muzzle within 50 feet of any public structure. I don't know. That, that may not have... That may, well, you know what happens? Vegas. In Vegas stays yeah. in Vegas. Yeah, they, <laughs> you, can't, you can't enforce those That's rulings right. in Vegas. That's right. 